Nobody likes a goblin. Deep in a dungeon, the bats were sleeping soundly. And Goblin woke to a new day. Good morning. He lit the torches and fed the rats. He gnawed an old boot for breakfast and he thought about the day ahead. Look how he's eating the boot. <coughs> Yummy, this boot is delicious. I think I'll go and see Skeleton, said Goblin. Skeleton lived in the treasure room and he was Goblin's very best friend. They counted bats. They played roll the dice and Skeleton told Goblin stories from the days when he was a mighty warrior. He even let Goblin try his old crown. Look at me, said Goblin. I am the Goblin King. Aha! But then came the sound of boots on stone. <gasps> What's this? Adventurers were storming the dungeon. They scared the rats, they knocked over the torches, they plundered the pantry. Goblin hid under his bed until they went away. The adventurers took everything. They took the gold, they took the maps, the books, the gems and the scrolls. And they took skeleton. Oh no! So Goblin put on his crown and walked out into the wide world to find his friends. I'm going. Goblin had one neighbor, a hill troll that lived in a cave nearby. I'm looking for my friend Skeleton, Goblin told him. Uh, I saw your friend, said the troll. He was with the adventurers who took my Hong Kong away over the mountains. I'll get your Hong Kong back, said Goblin. Be careful, said the troll. Nobody likes a Goblin. Oh, I'll be okay, said Goblin. And he walked up in the hills. Oh, look, this is some uh, dinosaurs on the hills. Wow. And away over the mountains, on the far side of the mountains, Goblin met a farmer. I'm looking for my friend Skeleton, said Goblin. Ugh! shrieked the farmer, a filthy Goblin. And he chased Goblin down the road. Get away, you filthy Goblin. The farmer chased Goblin right through an inn full of elves. Look at the elves, they have big ears. Oh, said the innkeeper, a disgusting little goblin. Catch it, catch it, cried the elves. And they tried, they were running after him. The farmer, the innkeeper and the elves chased Goblin to the edge of the hunted swamp and there Goblin saw the adventurers pulling a cartload of spoils. And sitting atop the treasure was... Skeleton! Skeleton! shouted Goblin. My friend, I found you! Get that Goblin! shouted everyone. Goblin grabbed hold of his friend and ran away. Goblin and Skeleton ran through the haunted swamp until they passed a cave. We'll hide in here, said Goblin. Look at the cave, you see? They're looking for us, said Skeleton. They will find us soon. I know, said Goblin. Troll was right. Nobody likes a Goblin. Well, I like a Goblin, said Skeleton. And the two friends sat together and waited for their doom. But then, excuse me said a voice from the back of the cave. <gasps> Look at those eyes! Goblin turned and saw many eyes sta staring at him from the darkness. Do you know who else likes a goblin? said the voice. Look! Look how many eyes! <gasps> What's this? More 
goblins! Wow, hello, friends! We saw your crown, said the other goblins. Are you the goblin king? Goblin thought for a moment. Yes, he said. Yes, I am. We must defend the goblin king, said the other goblins. And they did. They chased the elves away and they chased everybody and they defended their new king. The farmer, the innkeeper and the elves ran for the hills and the adventurers, well, they were never heard from again. Gobble, 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 gobble. And so, Goblin and the skeleton and their new friends traveled together back to the swamp up the road, over the mountains, down the hill, and home to the dungeon. And they had a very, very big dinner. The end. <laughs>